Hey fam, today's vlog is sponsored by a company called Be Kind Shop. They specialize in this really cute and affordable jewelry. Um, I'm going to show you guys a couple of pieces that they sent me to try out. I was actually able to pick out a couple of items, so I asked London to assist me in picking out some necklaces from the site. If you're a bee lover, sunflowers, just really cute acts of nature i'll definitely list their link in my description box i'll also have a coupon code if you decide that you want to pick up a couple of pieces it comes in this really cute little packaging before i can show you guys my items that i picked out i just want to let you know that they do make these items to help protect bee colonies all around the world they actually donate 10 percent of each purchase to pollinator partnership and other nonprofit organizations. So it's a really neat concept if you're into saving the bees. And I wanna just show you really quickly how it came in the package. And it's really cute little But yeah, that's what came inside of this cute little envelope. This is how each of my gifts came packaged. I thought this was really cute. And it has like this little sunflower that actually feels real. So uh, let me just show you really quickly. And when you open it up, you can actually see uh, the item that I got. And it has like silver and gold on it. Like the little beehive in the backdrop. This is my second piece, same little cute little box. So I thought this was super cute. I'm probably going to wear this one today. When you take it out the bag, it's stuck with this little thank you sticker back here. You guys can see, but it's a little pouch back there that holds the jewelry so it doesn't get tangled. And actually, you all, I said I was going to just model this one. Um, I'm going to go on ahead and put both of them on so I can show you guys what it looks like against my skin. You can kind of see how this necklace falls on me. It's really pretty. I picked this one out. Flip this one back because I'm actually gonna keep it on for today. And like I said, I do have a 20% off coupon if you wanna place an order with their company. The code is KMO. 20 you'll get 20 percent off of your order so make sure you use that code if you do decide to pick up some items um i just want to say that this feels like really good quality jewelry all right now this one is a little bit longer this is what the other piece looks like against my skin i just want to say thank you very much to be kind shop for sending me these items to review. I really do appreciate it. You not only made my day, but as well as my nine-year-old daughter. So thank you very much. Like I said, you guys, if you're interested in picking up some items from this company, they'll take 10% from your order and donate that. So, so we're gonna get right on into the vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey fam, what's up? Your girl is sitting at the kitchen table. I just pulled out this wig that I purchased last year from Love Me on the buy one get one half off sale. Oh, I still have the lace on it. Did not bleach any knots or anything. I just put a little bit of my powder underneath uh, Mac Studio Plus NC46, I believe. I'm getting ready to you ready for the weekend? Kid free weekend, y'all. And your girl is just excited, okay? If you're on my Instagram, you probably already saw that on my stories when I announced that I also got the job. Yay! The one that I really wanted, y'all. Uh, right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to run through this wig. Did not shampoo it. Y'all know that's a total no-no for me. But this is just gonna be a straight look. The plan for this this uh, wig was to cut it in a bob. Just going to drop the kids off at their destinations. And then tomorrow I have a date. I'm using my Duval flat iron or straightener, whichever one you like to say. And then I'm going to be using this Revlon curling iron. It's not the one that I got that time at Walmart on that deal with the wand. It got stolen. So I got the job. Um, by the way, today is 
Friday, March 4th. Uh, my equipment for my job came in today. I never do a flat, straight wig. So I'm gonna wear it like that today. I'm gonna take a couple selfies in the car and uh, see if I like this or not. Oh, also, I haven't talked to you guys in a minute. London is starting softball. I hope my work schedule does not conflict, you know, um, with her playing ball because this is her first year. That's going to be the only issue. Uh, what else was I going to tell you guys? A lot of you guys know this Brandon has been picking up the camera a little bit more. He's trying to come out of his non-vlogging shell. Um, sometimes I just randomly find footage, which I was like, okay, B. Even though it's small, it's big. And if you've been following me for a while, you know what I mean. That son of mine stay in that room unless it's involving food. This wig, it feels pretty good. Um, how many of y'all are watching Bel Air? I watched one episode, which was the free episode on Peacock. And I'm not going to tell you no story now. I was shocked. I wasn't ready. Like Kevin Hart say, I wasn't ready. No, I wasn't. But um, totally cool concept how they tried to put, you know, this day and age into the theme as to how it would be if, you know, Fresh Prince was nowadays. They were saying how this wasn't even Will's concept or anyone. Someone just randomly posted a trailer of how it would be in this day and age and Will Smith liked it. I haven't paid the $4.99 for Peacock just yet. If I decide to finish watching the rest of the episodes, I'll do it and binge it, you know, in a weekend or something. This week was $119.90. I had $25 gift card, um, so it took $25 off, and then I got the headband wig for free. It was showing $109 on the uh, screen. There you go. For each wig, y'all see that say 10 inches. Headband wig says 12 inches. I paid $94.90 because I had a gift card um, from the Love Me site for all of the orders that I've been making. Don't judge me. But yeah, y'all saw how much I paid for the wig. This is just the closure. FYI. I'm just going to... Okay. Um, No makeup today. I'm just gonna pop my glasses on. I don't really think I wanna wear these ones. Bet y'all wasn't expecting that, were you? I went on ahead and just brought it to the middle. We're gonna see how that works. I usually don't like middle parts. What's up? I'm about to walk inside of Ulta. Real quick, I need to spend a gift card. Make sure it's the brown sugar. No, it's a sweet thing. good stuff. That's the stuff that stinks. Next. Here it is. Brown. Dark brown. Oh, 
today. All right, fam, I'm heading in Shoe Carnival now. Let's see. So, I don't know what I'm wearing to model, but I do know that I need a sandal. So y'all, I am filming on my iPhone 13 Pro. Hang on. Yeah, let's adjust it so you guys can see a little bit more. Kind of like those. Okay. I gotta stay away from athletic shoes because that's right. Shoppers continue to take advantage of the savings right here. Just right. Don't miss out on this sale going on in the end. women and kids department. All women and kids. See what I got on my shoes. Because <laughs> <laughs> you take 15 percent off that peak sticker price. We'll have pink stickers going on sale. Yeah, you take 15 percent off that peak sticker price. Uh huh. No, they should have sale signs on them indicating the half off price. Clarence shoes will have pink stickers I'm on the box. I'm supposed to be finding myself something. Yeah, it's to find these something. Going on, Chicago. Oh. Size one. Could have got my baby some rain boots, but too small. Why am I looking for kids stuff? So. Let me get one then. Pair of those. But make sure she likes them first. All right, y'all have a good one. You too. I got a look right here one more time for this one. Shoppers, don't forget now when you come across a shoe you like and we don't have your size, check with the cashier up front about getting that shoe ordered. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. They did not have anything inside of shoe carnival that I was looking for, so I'm about to run inside of shoe department, which is inside of the mall, and I'm also get some wings while I'm in there. y'all i'm back at home let me show y'all real quick what i picked up in ulta picked up this tree hut moroccan rose moisturizing shave oil smells really good picked up some tree hut cotton candy shea sugar scrub i'm excited to take a bath like seriously because of this right here I grabbed these Ardell Wispies. Um, I usually do the Kiss Wispies, but I haven't, you know, did these ones in a while. Um, I can't remember which shape this is, but they are all the same. And I do like them because they're more full in the middle versus on the very end. So, grab those. I also grabbed this NYX Professional Eye Pencil in dark brown. I think you can see it right there. Last but not least, I picked up a mini Mac and Velvet Teddy. This is like my favorite Mac nude lippy. So I always try to get one of these and my last one is completely gone. All of these items were on sale. Nope, I'm lying.
Okay, so yeah, I got $38.49 as my grand total for today. You see, I did use a gift card and I have some money left over. But that's what I picked up from Ulta, y'all. Now, let me show y'all what I got from Shoe Department. They are not what I was looking for. I really just got them because they were on clearance. They were $9.97. Like, literally, they didn't have anything. And if I decide to put on, like, a dress or something, I don't have any flats. So, I just grabbed these little slides. They were only $9.99. You can see right here. Oh, so that's everything that I picked up. I don't know, but I had to get something. Can't always wear my Nike slides, even though they fit pretty much.